This is Twit. There is one feature uh, that some have argued is the most substantial uh, new feature on an iPhone in ages, basically since the loss of the home button. And that is the introduction of a new button. And I know we'll talk about this more during Shortcuts Corner, but uh, tell me about your experience with the action button. Well, Nika, I mean, I've got two experiences or two rounds of experiences with the action button, right? Because I have um, or had an Apple Watch Ultra last year. Now, I've not thrown it away, obviously. I've still kept last year's <laughs> Apple Watch Ultra. Um, but I have to say that that Series 9 processor and the, uh, the the tapping your finger and thumb together to do actions, it's going to be, it's not currently available for the new watch owners if uh, folks are looking for that. That that did prompt me to, to go and uh, upgrade my watch as well. Um, but the action button is a really cool piece of hardware. Um, and this is only available on the Pro model iPhones, but it has replaced that mute switch toggle that was previously above the volume buttons. Um, and with the Apple Watch Ultra, it seemed like a really great idea. Um, and the problem that I found with it in practice is it was quite slow to actually do the thing when you pressed it. Um, so some of this was probably down to the fact that they didn't want to, you know, accidentally trigger it if you just like caught your watch on something and like the button got pressed mm -hmm. um but some of it was also just oh you've decided you want to run a shortcut we're going to add like what feels like an hour of slowness onto this um because there's only a few things that you could do natively um with that now obviously with this being the action button on the iphone they've added a few more options for us um and i'll just uh, see if i can pop open the uh, settings so that i can show folks uh, that because i have to say I'm really enjoying this. Um, so in settings on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max uh, models, uh, there is a new section beneath General and Control Center called Action Button. And when you tap on this, it'll give you all of the options. And I have to say, I found it um, really responsive. So it doesn't just run immediately as soon as you press the button. Um, it will take, you have to sort of press and hold it for just a tiny little bit and then let go. So if you're just sort of clicking it as like a fidgety tool then it's it's not going to do the thing but there's options for the magnifier and the torch and uh, micah i'm loving this <laughs> um you know i've been playing with them and uh for folks who are watching the video you might spot that i've got it selected as shortcut and i've got a shortcut called iphone action button um and we're going to talk about that a bit in the shortcuts corner but there's i mean obviously the default option silent mode is probably what most people want and we'll just live with um but you can toggle a focus mode or open your camera use the torch or flashlight uh if you're using the us one i suspect uh create a voice memo uh magnifier um and then of course yeah the shortcut option i'm really loving this micah i'm finding it really useful and uh it's really exciting what i can do with this and it's just a button that's always there on the side of my iphone yeah it's it's a, it's a nice little feature um i currently have mine set for voice memo um i originally i, I knew that i didn't want to keep it on ring silent because i even in my iPhone 14, I mean, going back, I don't, I never have that switch turned to anything other than silent. I don't want mm -hmm. sounds playing. So I always have it vibrate. Um, so it was very easy for me to, uh, you know, hop in and change that away. Um, I'm going to change it to the shortcut button eventually, but mm -hmm. because I've, I've, I've had some ideas that I've, they've been inspired by some other folks, uh, including I'm sure, uh, what you will show us what you've done with yours, but as it stands, the idea that I can almost make like a little uh, sort of pocket recorder is quite nice. And it mm -hmm. reminds me of using just press record on my Apple Watch, which is something that I do. Um, it is, I think, a really smart idea to make a button that can just do whatever it is that we want to do with it. And that we don't have to have that waste almost of a button uh, that has existed thus far. Um, now, with that feature, uh, you will notice that the uh, that the sleep wake um, or not sleep wake, but the the ring silent uh, alert icon appears in the top left corner mm -hmm. of the screen. And some people were a little perturbed at having that appear there because they hadn't had it before. So uh, a quick tip, if you launch settings 
and then you choose sounds and haptics, you will see a new toggle in this section that says show in status bar. If you toggle that off, then you don't have to see the ring silent uh, option up in the top left corner. And then you can also toggle between silent mode and ring mode uh, by toggling on or off silent mode there in the sounds and haptics section as well. So all of that's still accessible. Um, it's also accessible to toggle on and off from control center. Uh, but in mm -hmm. terms of getting the little icon to disappear, that is in the sounds and haptics screen. So yes, um, now you out there, if you've got one of these and you were like, why is that bell showing up? I don't want it there. Now you know how to make it go away. I'm Jason Howell. What do you get your favorite geek who already has everything? Well, I know just the thing. It's a Club Twit gift subscription, of course. Twit podcasts keep them informed and entertained with the most relevant tech news and podcasts available. And with a Club Twit subscription, they get even more. They get access to all of our podcasts ad-free, the members-only Discord, exclusive outtakes, behind the scenes and special content, and exclusive shows like Hands on Mac, Hands on Windows, and the Untitled Linux Show. You can purchase your geek's gift at twit.tv slash clubtwit, and they're going to thank you every day for it.